Hey, I'm here to talk about FreeNAS and Max backup system that's called Time Machine. So FreeNAS is a free system where you can download a burden system, install it on a customized server and use it for multiple purposes, file share, streaming, torrent or um, backups such as Time Machine. So the challenge here is to set up Time Machine for my Mac Mini, test it out and see what the process takes. As far as I know, it requires three steps. Number one is to create an account in FreeNAS. Number two, we will need to create a data set. And number three, we will need to create a um, Apple file share. And all these things are supported by, by FreeNAS. So first, let's log into FreeNAS with the root account. Let's start with creating a new account. I will go to users, hit uh, add. But before I go any further, I have created this um, a data store uh, before. I'm going to remove it so it does not confuse me anymore. So I will just delete it. And then I'll go back to accounts, users, create new. I will name this account Alex-Mac. It's going to be used for my uh, backups only. I'll set a password for it as well. Uh, everything else is going to be left by default and blank. Um, okay, I'll hit save. So user account is created and as far as I know, when I create a new account in FreeNAS, it will also create a group uh, for the particular account. And so next step, I will be creating a data set. So we'll go to storage, pools. On the raid, I will take a look at that data set I built earlier is gone. I will create a new one, my bad, it's going to be here, you hit on these three dots on the right hand side, um, add data set, I will name this data set as uh, time machine dash data set Uh, machine data set. Cool. Um, comments, I'll leave it blank. Share type. Um, should I set it to Windows? Sure. I will set quota 100 gig and everything else will be left default. Okay, next, let's review permissions for this data set. I want to have users that users that I just created, it's called Alex-Mac, to um, only to have permissions to create backups for this, um, uh, for this uh, file share. So I will select Alex, Alex-Mac, hey, where'd you go? A user is okay. It's all good. And uh, ACL type a uh, Unix um, group right. Sure, I'll leave it like this. Hit save. Let's go into sharing. Create Apple file share. Hit add. I will select the data set I have just created. Set it to time machine. Advanced settings, um, read write. How about I set Alex Mac? And because it can be case sensitive, I recommend uh, making it all lowercase if you have to do uh, something like I just did. A love list. I will do Alex dash. dash Mac, same, lowercase, 
I will I will leave everything just by default except for the permissions. Uh, write and execute. Okay, sure. Looks good. I'll save it. Okay, now we got Apple file share up and running. Next step is to go to Mac preferences, system preferences, time machine, and actually test out this um, data set I created. It will show up in your Mac as an external disk. I will not use encryption, I'll just hit use disk. It will be account we created earlier, alex-mac, and that password for this account. Let's see. Okay, so next backup is definitely scheduled to take place in 112 seconds or so. But I'm going to force it. I will go into Time Machine on top uh, in menu bar, select Backup Now. It will go look uh, for a backup disk, and if everything's okay, it will prepare the backup and will start backing up um, my Mac Mini. So let's wait and see what happens. I would really hate to go back to folder or file share permissions and stop troubleshooting this problem if something didn't work. But I did test this earlier. I was able to create a data set and file share and it worked. Wow, it takes a while this time. Okay, cool. So good news. Definitely, it is. Um, back, my Mac Mini is being backed up. As you can tell, it's backing up some 4,500 meg out of 30, nearly 36 gig. So it's definitely going to take some time. I do run gigabit network uh, at my house, so it shouldn't take that long. But considering current data transfer rate, it may take. Uh, maybe an hour, half an hour, it says calculating time, so can't really tell. But that's it, that's how you set up FreeNAS uh, time machine feature and um, set up your Mac to um, take snapshots and back up your files. Well, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this video, uh, give me thumbs up, I'll leave comments, questions, I will be happy to answer it and help you guys out with any type of networking or systems related questions uh, let me know and i will try to make a video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time